Advancements in CGI animation technology in movies and television have created some stunning visuals over the past decade, and some moviegoers claim that the real world now seems bland by comparison. But if you look carefully, you'll find there is still quite a bit of astonishing beauty and weird stuff to be found right here in reality. While you probably aren't going to be a witness to any flying rainforest, jellyfish, or real-life dinosaurs on your next nature walk, the Earth has plenty of cool secrets for you to discover and enjoy. Think your reality is boring? Think again. Here are 10 natural phenomena that outdo the movies. Number 1. Bioluminescent Plankton Perhaps one of the most magical experiences available on the planet, swimming or kayaking and a glowing sea that reacts to your movements is seriously cool. Microscopic plankton are responsible for the blue glowing waters in places like Mosquito Bay, Puerto Rico, probably so named in an attempt to keep tourists away. Billions of these tiny plants and animals live in every one of the world's oceans, and some of them contain chemicals, called luciferins, that light up when the organism is disturbed. This is an evolutionary survival adaptation. When a predator tries to eat the plankton, the plankton lights up in an attempt to attract a larger predator to eat the one attacking it. When you're the smallest fish in the sea, sometimes your only hope is to rely on the protection of the bigger guys. Number 2. The Hesdalen Lights In the 1930s, the people of the small Norwegian village of Hesdalen noticed some strange things happening in the sky above their valley. Flashes of light that would last anywhere from 2 or 3 seconds to whole minutes long and sometimes even an hour. Since then, there have been about 20 reported sightings of the lights each year, and researchers still do not know what causes them. One theory suggests that the lights are the result of some form of atmospheric combustion caused by the high amounts of scandium in the Hesdalen Valley. Another theory states that radon decay may be ionizing the air in the valley and creating plasma. Of course, the more exciting explanation is extraterrestrial. Number 3. Volcanic Lightning Also known as a dirty thunderstorm, volcanic lightning is a rare phenomenon that occurs when lightning flashes above an erupting volcano. It's no wonder our ancestors came up with some pretty fantastic mythology, as volcanic lightning is reminiscent of ancient gods locked in fiery battle. The real cause of volcanic lightning is actually a lot simpler than the plot of floor. In a regular thunderstorm, ice particles in the atmosphere bump into, causing static buildup which eventually discharges in the form of a lightning strike. When a volcano erupts ash and rock particles are thrown high into the atmosphere, generating the same static charge with a much cooler effect of lightning striking at Lala. But if you want to believe that a demon beast from the deepest pits of Hades is fighting with a horde of Valkyries, I won't hold it against you. Number 4. Underwater Crop Circles if you go diving during puffer fish mating season, you may happen upon some intricate circular designs in the sand on the ocean. Tetraebentidae, more commonly known as pufferfish, are one of many species that undergo elaborate mating rituals that involve the building of structures. The male pufferfish swims along the sand, creating rifts and ridges, which together create a circular nest where the female can lay her eggs. Once there are eggs in the nest, the male can fertilize them. Since there is little structural difference between one of these sand nests and a regular patch of sand, animal behavior Behaviorists believe that this may be an example of mating showmanship, with the males competing to build the most beautiful and enticing design to attract females. It may also be that these puffer crop circles serve the more practical purpose of mere sexual coordination. The ocean floor is pretty large, and if the females lay their eggs just anywhere, the males would never find them. A big circular target seems like the most obvious way to ensure the survival of the species. Number 5. Fire Rainbows So-called because they often appear as rainbow-colored flames in the sky. These colorful phenomena are commonly believed to occur in the presence of large fires. The truth is that fire rainbows are not unlike normal rainbows requiring nothing more than sun and clouds to appear. Fire rainbows, more technically known as circumhorizontal arcs, occur when sunlight is refracted through the place of ice that make up high-altitude cirrus clouds. The sun needs to be at least 58 degrees above the horizon, so that its rays can enter the ice plates on the vertical side and exit by the horizontal side, causing the 90-degree refraction which lights up the clouds. Usually the cirrus clouds are fragmented, causing the flame effect, but when conditions are just right, a circle horizontal arc will appear as a complete circle surrounding the sun. Number 6. Sun Dogs no, that's not a tattooing sky, it's just a sundog. Perfect sundog rings give the illusion that there is more than one sun in the sky by causing two glaring lights to appear on either side of the sun. Most sundogs have a slight rainbow effect on the edges with the colors are not as pronounced as a rainbow or circumhorizontal arc. Like fire rainbows, sundogs are also caused by sunlight refracting through ice crystals. The only difference is in the angle at which the light hits the crystal, as the sun is much lower in the sky when a sundog occurs. Sundog rings can happen at any time of year, but they tend to occur when it is colder and there is more ice lower in the atmosphere. 
Number 7. The Christmas Island Crab Migration If you thought the stampede scene from The Lion King was good, you ain't seen nothing yet. The red crabs of Christmas Island live inland in the forest, but every year they migrate to the shore to mate. This is pretty typical of many species, but the red crabs are way more showy about it, migrating across a relatively small island by the tens of millions. This creates a saturation of the bright red animals, which move in what can appear to be sheets across both natural terrain and roads, and they do it with astonishing precision. Without fail, the crab legs are ready to be released into the ocean with the tide during the last quarter of the moon. The humans of Christmas Island, more than half of which is a protected park, do their part to help the migrating crabs by building bridges, digging tunnels, and even closing streets to vehicle traffic while the migration takes place. Number 8. Spinning Ice Circles These look like something straight out of Narnia, perfectly round disk of ice, slowly spinning, and otherwise still waters. For a long time people thought these phenomenon were caused by subsurface eddies and currents. But researchers in Belgium recently discovered that the cause of these rotating river disks is density. Clusters of ice, chunks form on the surface of the water as they melt the cold water running off of them, becomes denser than the warmer water around it. Because of this difference in density, the colder water sinks straight down. As the water moves downward, it creates a whirlpool, just like any downward moving water would. The whirlpool then causes the ice cluster above to spin and the friction of the spinning shapes the cluster into a perfect disc, kind of like an aquatic version of the potter's wheel from Ghost. Number 9. The Flowering Dessert The Atacama Desert in Chile is one of the driest deserts on the planet, and the plants that live there know it. Normal annual rainfall in the Atacama is a measly 15 millimeters, but once every decade or so, there is a downpour, and when the rains come, everybody takes advantage of it. It takes a lot of water to make a flower. A desert cactus normally needs to save up water until it has enough stored to create a bloom and hopefully get pollinated. So, a desert downpour is kind of like a one-day bonus level for chances to procreate. The sudden influx of water launches the desert floor into action, and the blooms are abundant. The heightened moisture levels in the air also cause local insects to become more active. So all the hardy desert plants bloom all at once in hopes of attracting the precious pollen transporters. The result is an ocean of pink, purple, orange, and opal. But like all great beauty, the flowering Atacama is fleeting, and when the dry air dissipates all the moisture, the desert plants will close up shop and wait 10 years for the next rainstorm. Number 10. Hunapod Ants these insects may have been the inspiration for invasion of the body snatchers. Like other ant species, honeypot ants store food deep in their hills. But that is where the similarities stop because honeypot ants use their own workers as storage containers. The species is named for one specialized group of workers called repletes. The repletes are able to expand their abdomens to the size of a small marble. They gorge themselves on whatever food the forger ants can find, then stored as a sweet liquid inside their own living bodies until it is needed. Like something out of a siffy horror, flick the replete ants hang upside down and their subterranean caverns, oozing goo. Whenever another worker needs nourishment, it communicates to a replete, who then regurgitates some liquid for the worker to eat. Overeating, sitting around doing nothing all day, and getting to barf all over your co-workers. Hunapot. Replete ants have one of the best jobs in the world. Did we miss any? What are your favorite natural phenomenon? Leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos like this one.